time for another triple goal, baby. Destiny draw. Yep. Oh, come on, just some monsters from ancient Egypt. Some of them so slabs. Emerging car fusing with Bob. In a summon, the winged dragon of Ra. A brilliant warrior appears in lights. Always have to take up the fight, no matter what, leaving in the heart of the cause. And pursuing through every obstacle for the ultimate victory. This is Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Monsters, the Dawn of Destiny. Let's play! But me, but mom. So last time, guys, we took on the uh, Exodia guy a lot of times. Uh, I definitely want to make sure I have the right deck before I start this next triple. So from what I remember the, at the preview, the uh, life point, uh, yeah, the life point value very tough, honestly. Um, two solemn wishes. Okay. Uh, what's in my side deck here, actually? Hmm. Maybe I should bring Tornado Wall in, actually. Uh, main deck. Yeah, that way we can kind of try not to take as much damage. And let's side out. Hmm. Let's side out. Oh, we already have one tornado wall. Hmm. Oh, no, no, that's just the one I put in. Okay, okay. Let's side out a... Nikita Tech. Yeah. Looks good to me. All right, guys, wish me luck. Uh, this one going to be one of the harder triples of the game. Yeah, triple number 14. Yami Merrick, Yami Bakura, Yami Yugi, the Yamis. They're all at 4K. Bad news is you're at uh, 6K to start. So I think we'll take on Yami Bakura first. Oddly enough, I find him to be the easiest out of all these. And, of course, Yami Yugi to be the toughest. Uh, Yami Merrick just tries to deck you out. But anyway... Ha! Ah, challenging me will be your first and last mistake, mortal. <laughs> Prepare, this is one Shadow King you can't possibly win. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, honestly, we might be here for, uh, two or three episodes. So, you know, if that's the case, so be it. But, uh, wish me luck. Hopefully we draw Solemn Wishes early. They don't draw Ring of Destruction and, um, uh, uh, Magic Cylinder early, so... Yeah, we gotta be careful playing cards like Premature Burial, don't get me wrong. It's a good card, but uh, 800 life points? Definitely, you gotta be thinking about that going into the next tier, so. We got the Jar... We got the Jar Jar Binks hand. Let's just start with Slate Warrior. Uh, let's try to get it. Nice. Well, I expected a trap there, Yami Bakura, but... Uh, Alright. Ah. Hmm. Off to a pretty good start. Let's end the turn. I'm gonna crank this up, man. I'm just playing this game. All right. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. No trap, but dark hole. <laughs> I like to be my spell call a dark hole. This destroys all monsters on the field. Now go. Hold your secret. Go. Possessed painting rips. All right. I guess we'll try Premature Burial, maybe? If this doesn't work, I guess we'll go with Magician of Faith. <laughs> a spell <of> card. <laughs> Take your life point damage, fool. Alright. Alright. Time to start you off with a clean slate. Scrape that ghost off the portrait. I guess we'll set... I doubt he'll actually attack. So I'll set a regular morphing jar. Call it good. Normally I wouldn't do that with all these monsters in hand, but... Uh, okay. It's more of what I expected. Now, he does have 2,000 defenders, as we saw earlier, like uh, Aquamador, so... We gotta watch out. Okay, we got half of the combo. Let's set this. Let's attack here. What you got? Fortress Secret. Good, good. I could summon Barrel Dragon here. Um, I'll be a little more. 
more discipline. Let's let's just set Magician of Fate. Maybe next turn Barrel Dragon. But Yami Bakura took out 2k of our life points, so you know, if, if each duelist does that, we lose. So, ah, <laughs> ready to keep the secrets. I like to be in my spell account. So, with this, every time you declare an attack, you have to send the top card of your deck to the graveyard. Well, we just won, thanks to you. It won a game, courtesy of Joey Wheeler. And I doubt there's anything I can draw to boost my life points with a Morphing Jar at this point. Uh, but let's see, maybe I have something in my deck I'm just not thinking of. We'll try for it. Let's see. Wow, he had Summon Skull, Mage Power, Aqua Chorus. He had Solve Wish of his own there at the end. Um, doesn't look like it, so we'll just Magician of Faith. And Slate Warrior. Uh, me Hurricane. And you, you, Kogi. Alright. And you, you, the punch. next, and, uh, honestly, we could very well lose. I mean, only 4,000 against him. It could be tough. Could be tough. Oh, by the way, what time is it? Okay. I'm, I'm gonna say I started about six minutes ago at 7.30. Oh, I forgot to read his dialogue. I, I saw he said, you're nowhere in near my league, or something like that, so. Alright, and, um, do I, yeah, let's check the side deck. Man, even, like, a Muyan Curry would have helped at the end there, but... Nah, I don't think I have anything like that. Dion Keto, maybe? Huh. I wonder how strong your deck is. Actually, it doesn't matter, Flood, because I will use all my skill to defeat you. Please, not all. Please, like, 10% of your skill? No matter how many powerful cards you have in your deck. <laughs> I'm the king of games, and also the king of doors. Alright, who's going first? No solemn wishes. Pretty good hand, though, overall. Um, let's start with... Fish Jar. And gotta watch out for Harvey's Feather Duster in this game. Let's set TT. Call it good. Next turn, I'll set Gravity Bind if it looks safe. What you got, Yami? I'll set a face down and summon the Stone Giant Soldier. Go. Earth crush our blow. <laughs> ah, nice job, Yami Yumi. With you activated by Morphing Jar. This card returns all monsters to the decks. Well then, if you pick up any spells or traps, ooh, get rid of that. You have to discard them. Or if it's a level five or higher monster, ooh, Mage Power, get rid of that. Okay, so you got the Stone Soldier back. That worked out for us, so now we know it's safe to set spells and traps, because he got rid of, uh, yeah, let's just show his graveyard, man. He got rid of a lot of good gravy. Raigeki, Duster, mm-mm. Nice. Nice to not ha to have to worry about those the rest of this school. We'll set Penguin just to set him back, and then next turn, we're definitely going to morph in Jar, so don't know why I said Snatch still there, but, uh, I mean, it's not like he has Harvey's Feather Duster, right? Right. Plus, we got Gravity Bind if he plays a level 4 or higher. Ah, not gonna attack me, huh? Oh, okay, there you go. There you go, Yami Uh, we could TT here, actually, which is pretty funny. Um, eh, don't think we will, though. I mean, with Penguin Soldier, it's basically the same effect, you know what I mean? So, except I guess TT would have destroyed his monster, so... Maybe I should have, I don't know. All right? Up your cards, Yami Yugi. Penguin Soldier will return them back to your hand. Well done, my my loyal penguin. I draw. Hmm. Well, at some point we do need to see if he has a trap down there, so we'll set slates. Call it good. I'm expecting like a trap hole or something though. Yami Yugi loves to play trap holes, so. Uh, but hopefully we get solemn wishes off of the incoming morphing jar. Also loves to play Cyber Jar, so definitely gonna attack with Slate first. All right. So what will it be? Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar, a 2,000 Defender, Mirror Force, Neg Go, Negate Attack. 
guess what this card does, Flood? It negates your attack. <laughs> wow, you, I could have never guessed that. He's definitely one of the best tools in the game. Alright. Another face down from Yami Yu. Not bad, not bad. Alright, and I don't mind getting rid of my hand here. So, so far we haven't taken any damage. Ooh, but I haven't played any traps, have I? No, I don't know. Haven't discarded any? Alright, go. Morphing jar number one. So this might help Yami Yugi out. Ooh, Monster Born, get rid of that. Ooh, Summon Skull. Ooh, Dark Magician. Yeah, get rid of all of that, buddy. Royal Decree's nice, but even nicer in this situation. Solemn Wishes, yeah. I might actually let my life points build up to around, eh, around like 8,000 or so. Just so I know we're for sure safe against a Yami Merrick, so. All right, and I don't mind summoning Sam again, you know, if he does uh, Cyber Jars. Not a big deal, you know, we just uh, get a new monster. All right, and uh, I probably shouldn't attack with Sangan. You know what? I will attack with Sangan. Why not? Okay. At least we know what we're dealing with there. All right. And goes. Go, new. New punch. All right, yeah, I sensed that he had a couple 2,000 defenders down there. All right, at least now we know what we're dealing with, too. Uh, main two, and I'll end my turn. We got plenty of back row here, so. All right, yeah, so I'll let, let's let our life points build up to 8,000. That's definitely one of the best strategies you can do in triple. Oh, he just straight up ended his turn. Six cards in hand, and you can't do anything? I'm sorry, what? Yami Yugi. You're kidding me, right? Um, let's see. Now, I know he played Raigeki. He hasn't played Dark Hole yet. So, actually, Andy, and that turn was very suspicious. Um, so for that reason, I'm actually gonna not summon Barrel Dragon. Um, although you could argue he doesn't have any traps. So, maybe I should. I screw it. Comments, you can miss me. You can miss me, comments. So, I will trip you both for Barrel Dragon while we're in the clear. I guess if he does have Dark Hole, um, we do have a Magic Gem or so. Search for Sinister Serpent here. All right. Epic music, baby. All right. Okay. And um, I'm not going to finish him off this turn. I know I could, potentially, with uh, Barrel Dragon's effect. But like I said, we want to build up our life points for the next duel in this triple. So definitely a good strategy when your life points are so low. You know, let Solemn Wishes or whatever, you know, strategy you have do its work. And now he's down to 1,400 life points. So your boo, Yami Yugi, will end the turn, buddy. All right, seven cards in hand. You got to do something now, buddy. What you got? Go. Pretty much a barrier. <laughs> By paying 800 points, I can revive a monster. Dark Magician. Wow, that's a good monster to revive. Um, I'm actually not going to negate this. Because like I said, I am still a little wary of Dark Wall. So, go ahead. Go ahead, bro. What next? Go. Dark Magician. Dark Magic Attack. This monster will guide me to victory. It's always been there for me. Yeah, nothing else, huh? All right. I knew he had to have at least one good, really good card in that hand. Uh, let's just attack here. <laughs> I wonder if he'll use Karibo. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. Ooh, I just realized he took the... Uh, ooh, I'm going to have the Gravity Bind myself here. Let's do it. Gravity Bind? Ooh, that was a close one. I just realized, like, he uh, his points got lowered from a Slate Warrior there. So, oh, man. We almost screwed up royally. Uh, but I'll try to use Barrel Dragon's effect there. Man, I almost ended the duel when I didn't mean to. Um, my mistake, my mistake. Guys? All right. Oh, we got Royal Decree, so if I need to negate my own traps, I definitely can at some point. Defense mode. That's good. Go. Axe of Despair. <laughs> this boosts my Dark Magician by a thousand points. United we stand. This boosts it by another 800. And also, it'll gain 800 for each monster on the field. Not bad, Yami Yiki. Not bad. Alright, we're gaining life points. So let's hope the effect hits here. And in fact, if it doesn't, <laughs> I might just use Snatch Steel just to, you know. Uh, okay. Yeah, so I could use Snatch Steel to make sure nothing crazy happens. But uh, I think what I'll 
do instead. I'll switch this to defense. I doubt any level 3 he has can get through Barrel Dragon, so... And we'll keep trying to take out his Dark Magician. Alright, let's keep building up our life points, guys. Let's do it. Alright. Go, attack mode. Go. Dark Magic Ritual. I activate this card. <laughs> now, by tributing certain monsters, I can Ritual Summon the one and only. Go. Magician of Black Chaos. Not bad, Yami. Not bad. I don't know if it was worth getting rid of all those equips, though. I guess another Dark Magician is in the graveyard, though, which helps your Dark Magician girl strategy, but eh, probably not worth it. Probably not worth it. Anyway, Barrel Dragon Effect. Nice, 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 nice. And let's see here. I'm actually gonna... I think I'll flip Magician of Faith here. Uh, just to do the 300 damage, you know. Nope, won't use the effects, because it is a level 1 monster, so... Alright, go, Saint Holy Staff Attack. Alright, yeah, not bad, not bad. Alright, you're a movie, I'm a Yugi. Let's see if you've drawn any low-level monsters. He hasn't, like, normal summoned or set in a while. Uh, still hasn't, wow. Okay, oh, we're almost up to 4,900. Very good, Slate Warrior. Um, sure, we'll set that, why not? Let's, maybe I should attack, because that's probably a trap card right there. Hmm. And I'm okay if we have 5,000 life. No, no, no. I'll wait one turn, Yami. One turn. Next turn, I'm seeing if that's Mirror Force, buddy. What you got? Still hasn't summoned. Good, good. Okay. Um, then again, it couldn't just be Trap Hole. Um... I'll tell you what, we'll go up to 5,900. Yeah. I'm feeling okay since he's not summoning, honestly. This is really best case scenario for us. And is he almost out of cards in his deck? Well, I guess we did Morphic Drum, to be fair. Okay, two face downs. He's got to have at least one Mirror Force, you know what I mean? It's Yami Yugi. I mean, he's the king of games. You know, Magic Cylinder, Mirror Force. He's got to have something down there. Oh, man, he's down to 15 cards. Alright, show me the trap. <laughs> I knew it. I knew that first trap was Mirror Force the whole time. Now. The whole time, Yami Yugi. I knew it. Alright, well, with that being done, I'll set the Sinister Serpent. And I'll end my turn, buddy. Bum, 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 bum. Luckily, he hasn't been playing too many monsters. Go, Pot of Greed. This allows me to draw two cards. Well, he get a monster for sure now. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Seven colored fish, not bad. Man, I haven't drawn a legendary ocean yet in either of these duels, but not not a big deal. Uh, we got it. Nice, nice. Okay, and our life points. Are, ooh, we hit the morphin jar too. That's a really good hit off a of barrel dragon. Okay, let's see if he has magic cylinder. Oh no, no. Okay. Well, you know what? We got all the way up to 6,400. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. We should be good. Unless we just get a really, really bad starting hand versus Yami Merrick. Wow, you won't. Barely. But you pulled it out in the end. <laughs> he said pulled it out because you never gave up. Yeah. All right, Yami Merrick, you're up. All right, let's see if we can do this. Man, if I do this at the first try, I'll be really surprised. <laughs> the shadow game begins, fool. Bye. Can I have a hug? No, no hug. Hug. <laughs> uh, not a bad hand, not bad at all. Giant true nade's always pretty good against him. Now, yeah, with three face downs, it's pretty likely he has gravity bind. So, I'm actually just gonna set my Mystic Tomato to start, and we'll go from there. So, Grexful Charity's pretty good too. And let's just see what he's got. Jar of Greed. Okay, that's standard as well. Ah, I love the moment when my opponent falls to my trap. Is that so? Alright, I'll set one card. Your move, Yami Merrick. Let's see what you've got. Alright. 
another face down. That's pretty annoying. Luckily, I do have Torrential, which I'll gladly use here. Um, let's see if he flips the other monster. Oh, no, he didn't. Well, eh, I'll take the 14. And honestly, this is fine, because he flipped some of our monster for us, meaning he couldn't play a, his, like, trap hold or... Oh! Well, good thing you didn't sacrifice my Mystic Tomato. Um... Fine. Call the haunted. Ah, good thing I waited. Okay, now I'll torrential. Out of the moment, my opponent falls right into my trap. Is that so yummy, Merrick? Well, you're about to fall into my trap. Go. Fear the power of the ocean. Torrential tribute. What? Whenever you summon a monster, well then, this card destroys all monsters on the field, including the ones you just summoned. The ocean's power can never be denied. Nice, nice. I'll use this to bait out a trap. Which? Trap. Oh, draw greed. Okay. I was expecting, like, trap hole or something. Eh, he might have mirror force. Who knows? Attack. Yeah, magic cylinder. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, the low life point thing can definitely screw you over. So, don't put all of your eggs in one basket, because uh, magic cylinder and ring of destruction... Yeah, they can really ruin your day. As well as, I mean, you saw he did change a part just right away, so yeah, you gotta watch out against these guys. You really do. Well, after all this time, I'm honestly expecting a gravity vine. Let's just play Graceful Charity, see if you change something. Nope. Okay. Draw three. Eh, we'll get rid of Tornado Wall. stand. If we want it back, we've got Magician of Faith. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a uh, a uh, Gravity by face down, though. Uh, also, he, he likes to use a lot of flip monsters, so even if this does work... Oh, which it did. Oh, okay, well that's best case scenario for us. Uh, but yeah, definitely didn't want to walk into, like, a uh, cyber jar there, which he does play a lot of jars, so, you know. All right, Luka Luka with no cards in hand. That was pretty lucky for us. Mystic Space Siphon, yeah, he likes that card as well. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a good hit on Torrential, honestly. Hot it off the top. I activate my spell card, Hot of Greed. <laughs> Not bad, Yami Mary. I'm impressed. Another face down. Man, he's going pretty well. Well, he'll probably get a uh, Graceful Charity here soon. Penguin Knight. Yeah, I kind of prefer that in the deck against this guy, but we'll go with Magician of Faith for Graceful Charity. Yeah, graceful Charity. All right, we'll play Graceful Charity. Draw three, discard two. I smell. You bet. Oh, we got our Gravity Bind. No need to really play it in this duel against this guy, because, you know, more than likely, he's going to play it before we do. Uh, okay, so let's set Snatch Steel. And let's attack. The reason I'm setting my spells and traps, just in case he plays Morphing Jar. Ah, go, Mirror Force. Haha. <laughs> Man, right off the top, too. Not bad, bro. Not bad. All right. But with which, we'll take... Are we Slate Warrior? Yeah, Slate Warrior. Team is good. All right, main phase two. I haven't summoned this turn, though, and he didn't attack Witch, so I doubt he can beat Sam Yan either with this face down. So we'll do that. Call it good. All right, if he summons something strong, we've got Snatch Deal. Okay. Man, so far the life point count has been pretty even. Ooh, this could help. This could help. If he starts doing jar stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. All right, go, Sam Gan, attack this monster. Ooh, and I'll give him Pot of Greed back if he wants it, or MST or whatever. Uh, yeah, that's pretty good as well. That's pretty good as well. In fact, that's a little scary. Um, let's set uh, a Summon Mystic Tomato to kind of hedge against this. Now, I expect him to just play a uh, change of heart uh, right away, but, you know... Definitely don't want to summon seven colored fish when he has change of heart. You know, that could get nasty, so. Ooh, good move, man. Good move, yeah. 
Yeah, that's gonna take out my tomato, but, uh, well, at least now we know what's in his hand. What's in his hand is change of heart, so, eh, honestly, this may not be too bad, so, and he didn't play it, okay, so he's waiting for a bigger fish to fry, so to speak. Uh, speaking of fish, we keep drawing him. Um, I could actually steal his bug with Snatch Steel, but that's a little... I don't really need to do that, do I? Let's see if he's got a trap, and I'll summon main phase two. Okay, just just jar of greed. Also, this duel, he, he drew all three jar of greed. Holy crap. And he's played pot of greed and stuff. Yeah. Wow. All right. Well, um, yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, he's down to 24 cards in this deck. I guess let's set Slate Warrior. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little afraid, you know, of change of heart, but I can't really do anything about it right now, so... Hey. Ooh, that's a good draw, Yami Merit. Man, he's dueling really well here. But at least we don't have to worry about Duster the rest of the game. That's a pretty good draw, too. Um, man, he's just holding on to that change of heart. Okay, well, we get the sand game search. You know, maybe I should uh, go for Morphing Jar myself. But uh, no, I'll actually go for... I'll go for Cyber Jar, just in case things get a little hairy. You know what I mean? So... Man, he, man, Dark Hole, mm -mm. that is a signature card though, so, okay, okay, um, we'll set this, we'll play this whenever he plays another trap, um, again, hopefully he doesn't, like, draw, worst case scenario would be, like, he draws, like, Force Raider, changes of hearts, and there's, ooh, just, uh, ends our whole career, but I'm pretty sure he'll play a change of heart now, now that I've got an 1800 attack point monster in attack mode, uh, Oh, he didn't. Wow. Well, interesting, Yami Merrick. You've only got one face down. And I've got this. Go. Yo, Cyclone Hostile. Yo. Blow that face down. Oh, ooh, it was Gravity Vine. Clutch. Clutch MST. The only one we drew the whole game. Wow. Seven color fish. Surf attack me, cap. Man. Wow, and we didn't lose, uh, well, yeah, we lost a little bit of damage thanks to Magic Cylinder in this pool, but, yeah, the extra life point cushion definitely made me feel more comfortable. Ah, oh, how can I let you hurt me? All right, Yami Merrick. Now give me my hug. Wah! Don't get full of yourself. Next time you will fall in my shadow game. Ha! Whatever you say, Mr. President. And we'll just choose the raw statue for no particular reason. Um, oh, Toll. Interesting magic card, Dungeon Worm, Taihon 2. Man, I wish we could get that Taihon 2 in uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Forbidden Memories, am I right? Anyway, a preview of next time we come back to this. It'll probably be a while before we do, but uh, yeah. Now we go from the um, uh, purple to the red category. So now we have the iconic duelist, Duel Machine 1, Duel Machine 2, and Duel Machine 3. Now you may be like, what? Yeah, it doesn't really make sense, but, uh, well, obviously, the key here to this triple, they all have 4K, you know, much like these guys, but your life points are still pretty low at 6K, so that'll be what's coming up next time. All right, but let's check out that Toll card. Pretty interesting card, honestly, so, uh, yeah, pretty useful in a burn strategy, uh, and, or, or actually pretty useful in all the triple duels as well. Uh, because, you know, especially the ones early in their game, the uh, starting life points for the opponent is pretty low. So, as long as this card remains face up on the field, both you and your opponent must pay 500 points per monster to attack. Now, you may say, oh, that sucks. Uh, I'll have to pay to attack. And I know what you want to do is just clear out all their monsters. Main phase two, uh, set this. And then, especially if you've got like a stall strategy going, like gravity bind and stuff, or just tornado wall where you won't take any damage. Yeah, yeah, feel free to set your monsters, and the AI is pretty aggressive, so they'll probably be pretty dumb and just attack into your stuff, like attack into your Cyber Jar, Morphing Jar, Morphing Jar number two, etc., you know, so yeah, uh, pretty good card. Yeah, a Crimson Dragon that spits fireballs to create a blazing sea of fire, wow, nice. Alright, guys, well, with that, I think that's going to do it for this. Um, episode here of, uh, yeah, Dawn of Destiny, so another triple down, another triple down. I definitely miss playing this game, it has been a while since I've been to this one, so, but, uh, yeah.
appreciate you guys for watching. Ooh, we got 51% of the library. That's interesting. Uh, where's Taiho number two? I kind of just want to see it in 3D. If we can find it in time. If not, don't worry about it, guys. That'll be the end of the episode. And I'll see you guys all... next time on you dawn of destiny uh yeah in the meantime in between time i don't record these you know too often uh you know since we've already done the finale and stuff but yeah feel free to check out some of my other Yu-Gi-Oh content we've got uh yeah Yu-Gi-Oh forbidden memories going on right now also um i have like pokemon trading card game that lp is completed so pr pretty cool stuff check that out if you want uh right now we're also doing a let's play of um <laughs> uh, it's so funny. <laughs> Tie on. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Uh, we're also doing a Let's Play of um, Pokemon Platinum Randomizer right now. Um, and what else we got going on? We've got Final Fantasy VIII as well. So, yeah, feel free to check out any of that if you want. In the meantime, uh, we also got... Uh, what's the other one? Oh, yeah, uh, GX Duel Academy. And, uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z, Legacy of Goku 2. All right. So, anyway, appreciate you guys. And I will see you all next time. I'm just going to catch a ride to the next Pokemon Center here with Taiho number 2. All right. You guys have a good day. <laughs>